lighting, spectrum, and maybe we'll get to add our first fish. It's week six, the 12 week reef is wet with the cleanup crew added, let's get into it. Last week in video five, we got our great white protein skimmer tuned in, we beefed up our biological filtration by adding some cycle media, and we finally added our first little bit of livestock, the cleanup crew. Now that the dust from all the sand and rocks has finally settled and the water's clearer, I feel like it's time to make it look like a real aquarium by adding lights. When it comes to lighting any reef aquarium, there's no one size fits all option. There are so many variables such as the aquarium size, species of corals being kept, and the nutrient levels of the aquarium as well. A lot more on all of that when we add coral in a future video. So let's start with the basics. Corals are animals, but most have a symbiotic relationship with algae that live inside them called zooxanthellae. Corals can actually consume food physically using their polyps, but they also source energy from photosynthesis, the sun, just like a plant does. So they need the right light to thrive and grow. Like terrestrial plants, corals can have a wide array of different lighting preferences based on their location in the reef, their species and their surrounding environment. There are also different levels of skills and more powerful lighting needed to grow certain corals. So we wanna choose a lighting system that'll give us the flexibility to grow and color our corals now, but also one which allows us to experiment with our harder to keep corals in the future. It may seem a little overwhelming, so I'm going straight to the source. Anthony from Delua has actually built LED reefing lights. And he's here with us today to dumb it down. Oh yeah. For me, not for you. You're not dumb, Brady. There's so many options and it's actually been a little bit overcomplicated over the years. So do you mind if we run through a few options on the 12 week reef? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Whoa. Anthony, what is happening? You know, I'm kind of scared of the dark. Anthony? Brady, don't worry. I'm a professional. Do I hear chewing? Ooh, something just touched my leg. I think we're done. Let's turn on the lights. Whoa. I did not expect that. So this is option one. And this is our cheapest option. This is the Illumagic Pixel, the Fragga Spectrum. And as you spoke about before, it does accentuate the blue side of the spectrum and the UV and violet side of the spectrum as well. Um, and as you just learned, corals at deeper levels flourish at this particular spectrum. The light really brings out the blue in your eyes, Anthony. <laughs> I mean, I can barely see you. That's actually a really good point. So one of the main features that we designed into the Illumagic lights is that the lenses can perfectly accentuate inside the tank and not fill up your whole living space with excess light because the more energy that's going into the tank, the better. And obviously if, if all the light's spilling out of the tank, then that's just a waste of energy and a waste of, a waste of power. I did not expect this, the shimmer looks amazing. Another very cool feature is you can actually change the lenses so you can raise it up even higher and hide it in like the recess of your ceiling and get an ultra narrow lens. So again, all the light goes into the aquarium. And alternatively, you can drop it right up close to the surface and get a much wider lens so the light can spread out immediately as, as soon as it leaves the uh, LED. Wow, well, I mean, this is option one. I'm already sold, but you said there was more. Brady, we're just getting started. Let's go to option two. Hey. Man, you keep doing this to me. Brady, I told you to trust me. I'm a professional. Are you, are you drinking? Are you drinking? Are you ready for option two? I'm ready for the light to turn back on. All right, let's plug it in. Oh, nice. So this is, it seems pretty similar, but it's just lighter. This is the reefer spectrum. And as you can see, it is a lot whiter, a broader spectrum. And this suits corals that live closer to the surface. Well, I mean, what if I want to keep corals that are close to the surface and deeper down like the last one? You can keep both. 
And as I said before, you can double up and put two pixels, three pixels, four pixels. This is a two foot tank. So you can put two pixels on there. However, if you're looking for serious longevity and controllability, you probably want to look at the Big Daddy, the, the X4. Ooh, the Big Daddy, that sounds exactly like what I want. All right, just give me a sec. Wait, Ants, you're not gonna turn the light back off, are you? A sec, dude. I'm, I'm freaking out, okay? Can we just turn the lights back on? Just give me a sec. Whoa! This, Brady, is the Illumagic X4. You guys have got to see this. Have a look. The Illumagic X4. You've got four interchangeable LEDs and four interchangeable lenses for a narrow, normal, or ultra-wide coverage. And it's all controllable on the Delua ecosystem app. And what we're gonna do for your viewers is we're gonna upload a schedule, a public schedule, so everybody that watches your 12 week reef video series can actually upload the exact schedule based on what level you're at on the 12 week reef. Oh, that is cool. Let's plug it in. All right, that's the final screw. I think we've got to turn the studio lights off to turn the X4 lights on. <sighs> Please no. Dude. Okay, oh, let me get my light. No, no, don't worry, we're ready to go. It's a big moment, Brady. Let's have a look. This is the X4. Wow. So no matter what aquarium you get in the future, all you have to do is just keep adding lights as your aquariums grow. And you can have as many corals as you like in here as well. There's gonna be no shading issues. This is future proof for the 12 week reef. Okay, so grow my corals, deep and shallow. This is the winner then. This is it. So I've got two gifts, Brady. The first gift, like I mentioned before, is for your viewers. So as long as they keep following your journey on the 12 week reef, what they can do is if they purchase an X4 light and download the Delua ecosystem app, they can actually use the exact settings that the professionals are telling you to use for each stage along your journey. So the video we just did was video six, acclimation. All your YouTube subscribers can download the Delua ecosystem app and simply upload acclimation video six and they will get exactly the spectrum that we're using on video six. It's not this one, this is a very bright spectrum. Acclimation is like 5% of the light's power. And the second gift, is for you and the 12 week reef, I guess. Yay! So have a look in your sump. So it's something living then? Yep. Duh. This is your very first fish. No way. So we get to, Dude, he looks insane. That's a blenny. A blenny. A blenny. I'm gonna name him Benny. Benny the blenny. <laughs> That's a really pretty fish. So this is already acclimated then? It's been acclimated now for two, three hours. And in a future video, we've got Dr. Ikai T that's gonna come and tell you all about him and a bunch of other fish that we're gonna add along the way. So can I tip him in? Sure. All right, well, before I tip him in, I think you guys need a closer look at this. The reason we chose a lawnmower blenny as our first fish is because they lend themselves perfectly to the task. They snack on film algae that forms on your glass while your tank's establishing. They've got really cool behavior as well. They kind of perch on rocks just like lions and they watch the rest of the tank just happen. They're peaceful towards other species of fish and they're reef safe, so they won't eat your coral. They'll clean your substrate as well by moving sand around. All right, so the 12 week reef gets its first ever fish. Benny the Blenny. Oh, that's so cool. I think we need to add some corals. Recap of week six. So today was another massive learning curve made easy. We learned all about lighting spectrums and how to best choose your lighting system for both today, but also setting you up for the future. We set up our very own 
acclimation lighting schedule, and of course, we added our little Lenny called Benny. To all you fish geeks, don't you worry, this is only one of quite a few different species of fish that we're gonna be adding with the help of Dr. Ikai T. So be sure to continue tuning in. You are done this week, 12 week reefers. Week seven is next. And now that we have our lights and our parameters in check, we're gonna bring in a world famous coral expert to help us choose our very first coral. Until next week, guys, goodbye. I'm the go feed Benny. Time to feed him. I'm not so sure he's gonna eat because obviously he's only just been dropped in the system. I almost can't see it. Yeah, I feel like the snails are probably gonna smash that way faster than he will, but you know, maybe we'll have a bite or two. Thank you and good night.